look how many people we So many people, so diverse. Beautiful blue sky.
in order for that to happen, people have to be aware of what's going on, and that's what we're here to do today, is to, is to help people look and see what they don't want to see and hear what they don't want to hear, and speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. So I'll, I'll share more uh, towards the end, and it's so great to see all of you guys out here and to see so many like-minded people. Thank you. Very much. injustices and atrocities as racism, sexism, homophobia, genocide. We humans have a penchant for assigning value and establishing dominion, for marginalizing those that we deem lesser than. Perhaps our most impressive attribute, as well as the most dangerous, is our astounding ability to deny the very truth before us. To legitimize our own horrific behavior 
with the wonders of marketing, to hide away the consequences of our choices and our actions, to silence those individuals who would threaten the balance of our collective comfort. While the injustices and the outright crimes we have committed and continue to commit against one another are undoubtedly deplorable, the most abused, willfully forgotten, and deliberately silenced group of all has always been, and to this day remains, non-human animals. It's rather perverse, really. In our, all of our efforts to unite humanity, to find common ground on a global scale, it is ultimately our collective marginalization, enslavement, abuse, rape, and torture, and murder of trillions of innocent, sentient beings that unifies our entire species across cultures, countries, ethnicities, genders, political ideologies, and religions. From the perspectives of historical longevity, from cross-cultural pervasiveness, universal enforcement, environmental destruction, and socioeconomic imbalance, and outright body count, humanity's treatment of non-human animals is our single most impactful, lasting, and profound contribution to this world. Cruelty is our commonality, but it doesn't have to be our legacy. Our power lies in our voices, in shining the light on the truth of what we do to animals, and refusing not only to participate in their abuse, torture, exploitation, and murder by going vegan, but also to lending our assumed endorsement to such atrocities by remaining silent ourselves. We must give the animals a voice. We must fight the lie with truth. We are up against a global denial of seemingly insurmountable abortions, but we must try. To not speak is to leave our own legacy of inaction. Let us speak for them. Thank you. Harvey sees the bathroom and I found this. Yay, vegan! So, today was a great day, very successful, very awesome, and, oh man, the vegan cupcakes, you know, they don't even have, like, regular ingredients, like, even though they're vegan, like, they don't have regular vegan ingredients, they're, the only ingredient in those cupcakes is joy, I swear to God, oh my God. Oh, vegan god. <laughs> but yes, the day was great. I had lots of fun with my friends. And I was happy to march for all the animals who need a voice to speak up for them. And I walked a lot. <laughs> so I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. Love you guys. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Love you. Bye. Go vegan.